This is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, brought to you via YouTube. And it would be fabulous if you subscribed to our YouTube page, with the promise in the future that at different times we'll have subjects that are only available to those who subscribe. So please, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's easy. Click the subscribe button. And at the same time, click the like button too. The Public Health Ministry will work with the CCSA today in meetings intended to further lift most, if not all, restrictions currently in place to prevent the spread of the virus. No one expects an instant lifting of mask wearing, but according to those in the know, a lifting on all restrictions on visiting Thailand and the closure of the Thailand Pass systems are both on the agenda, which may also include a return to normal opening hours for nighttime venues and a dropping of controls set up within venues to test customers and staff. A series of rules for the use of marijuana are being added to daily here following the deregulation. With public smoking to become an offence, there's expected to be a minimum age limit of 20 years set for users and growers and a ban on the weed in any form being used in educational institutions. A Lithuanian man has been transported from Patia to Surin yesterday after being caught by local police following claims that he'd caused the death of his 31-year-old transgender girlfriend. Police in Surin discovered the body after an extended period of time and his family helped recreate the timeline of events that showed the Lithuanian fleeing the region, with some suggesting the death resulted from an argument over the 31-year-old ladyboy's other lover, a British man, who also sent her money. A full autopsy is underway, but it's believed that the cause of death was a blow from a glass bottle. Meanwhile at home and in Patia, promises of completion of the roadworks in Walking Street for August have been amended to at least September, according to the City Council. They've been consulting with the contractors, and with just a quarter of the work completed, it's hoped that the job could be done in time for the traditional high season. And in Sirachar, a new type of economy crime has been reported as the price of fuel rises and for many incomes have dropped, drilling holes in vehicle fuel tanks to steal diesel or petrol has been reported. In one case, the thief fled, leaving the container still under the vehicle, but the fuel tank having three holes. The gain? A few hundred baht. The loss to the owner? Thousands to replace the tank. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 34 degrees, dropping down to 28 a very hot day with a good chance of isolated thunderstorms. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.